So I was looking at YouTube and also Reddit and other different websites out there. They usually talk about like the good aspect about options and how you with just any sort of amount of money can actually make a killing in the options market. I mean, you probably have seen that one guy that had 50 bucks and turned it to $1,000, or your buddy showed you his Robin Hood that he turned like $1,000 to $2,000 in one trading day. You were thinking to yourself, man, I wanna recreate that options experience. I wanna make some money. I wanna be a millionaire. And truth is, most people, like seriously, the majority of people lose money in the options market. So let me tell you about the dangers of the options market since most people don't really talk about it and just tell you what you're signing up for when you enable options on Robinhood and when you start adding funds to it. First things first, it's pretty addicting. I mean, gambling in general is a very addicting type of thing. So when you play options, it's you get kind of hooked. But of course, you do gain a lot of knowledge about the market. And of course, let's talk about the regular calls and the regular puts and the risks that are involved. So if you buy a regular call like this, you can clearly see right here, it costs about $24 to buy one. So cost means you have a very bullish opinion on the stock. And we picked Delta Airlines. I mean, you know, TSA numbers are slowly increasing. Delta Airlines is doing pretty good. So obviously I feel like tomorrow Delta Airlines should go up. So yes, tomorrow Delta Airlines goes from $25 to $27. Congratulations, your options contract of $24 most likely just became $35 or even $40, which nets you gains of 50 to 70%. That's generally what happens. But what happens if Delta Airlines goes down? There's a pretty large chance that it might. If it goes down, this option could be worth like $12 because when it goes down, your option drops like an absolute rock. And of course, in the day after that, it drops again. Your contract from $12 becomes $6. And then the third day, the option price goes up. Your $6 becomes like $8 or $9. And after that, it's called crush. Your option value is crushed so much because of two consecutive days of bad trading. So pretty much, if the market doesn't go as you want to for a day or two, your option value gets crushed and it's almost impossible for it to go back to the original value because the underlying options price went from $24 to like a couple of dollars, which is really hard for it to move. Also, you have the expiration date. The closer you get to the expiration date, the bigger and harder the time decay is. If you're like June 4th, which is like literally a day before the expiration date and the stock price drops, this option value of $24 is most likely gonna be the price of a sandwich, which is gonna be like six or seven dollars. That's the dangers of options. Same thing with buying puts. You're betting the market goes down, but the market goes up for a few more days, your put value gets absolutely obliterated. So the thing is about options is if, when you buy a call or a put right before the market closes at four, you're pretty much betting on the next morning at open the stock either goes up or it either goes down. If it doesn't happen the way you want to or if the underlying stock opens up completely flat, which is the exact same value as last night, you're pretty much screwed. Like you're screwed big time because you're losing a lot of money. So that's enough talk about buying calls and buying puts. They're by far the most riskiest things. Let's talk about selling puts and selling calls. Now, generally speaking, data gain strategies like selling puts and selling calls are a lot safer. And we will be talking about cash secure puts in this video because that means you do have money locked in as collateral. So with options, the worst that can happen is your money goes to zero, which generally does. And buying regular calls and buying regular puts are super duper dangerous. If you check out selling puts, the worst that can happen is you get to own 100 shares of the company, which if the underlying company is a phenomenal company, then it's really good. Now the dangers of selling puts is I've seen way too many people sell puts on pretty bad companies. If you check out Ford, it's a consistent line of going down. If you were assigned Ford at, for example, $10, and then Ford drops from $10 to like $5, you're pretty much screwed because this underlying stock just went down. You wanna sell puts on companies that generally goes up. So if you check this out and you click this one right here, you're pretty much betting on that AMD is gonna go up. You just sold this put and you have about $5,200 locked in as collateral. Now the dangers of this is even though you receive minimum credit of $77 and even though selling puts is one of the safest option strategies out there, if AMD absolutely craps the bed because of some trade war that Trump's doing, it drops to like, let's say $40, well, you're forced to buy AMD at $52 even though 
the market price is $40. And what does that translate to? It translates to $12 a loss per share and you just bought 100 shares. You spent $5,200 to buy AMD even though the market price is $40. So that's a net loss of $1,200. Now, a lot of people, when they sell puts, they sell puts on really garbage companies, like companies that have a consistent five-year graph of going down. And if you actually screw up, you're forced to back hold this bag of poop. And since you don't really want to sell it because you feel like selling it will be a loss, and if you hold it, it won't really be a loss, it hurts. Like If the underlying stock keeps dropping and you're a sign, and then it keeps dropping some more, you're going to be losing a lot of money. And this minimum credit of $77 will not cut it. Now, let's talk about selling calls. So selling calls means you have to have 100 shares of the stock locked in as collateral. So let's say you feel like selling a call, you have 100 shares, you click this one, you're like, I highly doubt that you know AMD is gonna go from $53 to $56, so I'm gonna say, I'm gonna bet $56. So you gotta put 100 shares of collateral and you receive a minimum credit of 45 bucks. So if AMD actually goes up to $55 and it doesn't hit $56, Congratulations, your 100 shares are released back to you. You get to keep your minimum credit like always. But the thing is, if AMD keeps dropping, even though you did make the $45 initially, your contract becomes worthless. You make most of your minimum credit, but your underlying stock value starts going down. And that's really bad. So the thing is about selling puts and selling calls is you wanna pick a company that generally goes up. Phenomenal choices like AMD, Microsoft, Apple, SPY, Triple Q have a long history of continuously going up. Don't pick a company, for example, like Ford, which has consistent year-on-year -year losses in the underlying stock. Imagine if you were selling calls and selling puts on Ford when this thing was at $15. You're going to be losing a ton of money because it went from $15 to $8, $9, and now it's $5.72. You don't want to be that guy. So the dangers of puts are pretty much saying that you have to make sure that you look at the markets well. Make sure you pick a company that's healthy. If you're buying regular calls, regular puts, it's super dangerous because if you screw up, you go to zero. But at least if you sell calls and sell puts, you do get a lot of underlying cash if you screw up or you are forced to buy 100 shares of a single stock. Let's talk about put credit spreads and the dangers of put credit spreads. So you probably heard a lot of good things about put credit spreads like, oh man, I'm joining Theta Gang, things are pretty good. It's honestly not too bad. It's you know a pretty good way to make some nice consistent money. I mean, it really is, but it's also super dangerous because if AMD went from $53 to like $48, $47, and it you know goes below the $50 price that you picked for the sell put, you're screwed because you lose that $100 in collateral. And even though you get to keep your minimum credit of $13, that still translates to an $87 loss. Put credit spreads are really dangerous because you're locking in a lot of collateral for very low amounts of money. And just one simple flash crash, one simple drop in the market could absolutely obliterate your put credit spreads. And guess what? You go to zero and you only get about 10 to 20% gain, which isn't that much. Also, same thing with call credit spreads. If you form a call credit spread, it's also super dangerous because if the overall contract goes up too much for like $60, $61, you virtually lose your collateral of $100. So the thing about options that's super scary is you go to zero. Even if you put a million dollars, if you screw up, you go to zero. With stocks, if you put a million dollars and the underlying stock goes down 5%, you still are holding $950,000. But with options, there's no mercy. It's a super crazy game. It's not really for the person that's a faint of heart. And the same thing with debit spreads. If you screw up, you go to zero. With selling puts and selling cover calls, if you screw up, you just get like a small net loss, which isn't really that bad if the overall company is generally speaking very good. So my verdict is, if you wanna trade options, please be careful and make sure you pick a company that's pretty good. If you're doing put credit spreads, if you're selling puts, if you're selling cover calls, make sure you pick a good company like AMD. If you check out AMD, you can see, generally speaking, the five-year graph is absolutely phenomenal. It went from the very depths to the very tops, and AMD is like one of the best stocks to definitely invest in 
for selling cover calls, selling puts, and buying calls. If you want to do like call credit spreads or buying puts, generally speaking, you want to pick garbage companies that don't really go up that much. I mean, I kind of like Ford, but Ford hasn't really been doing so well. Therefore, their overall stock price has been tanking like an absolute rock. So be very careful in the options market. Keep in mind when you go into options, make sure to invest the money that you're willing to lose because if you're investing money that you really do care about and you want to double or even triple that money, there's a high chance that you don't actually do it. Like invest in $100 right now. Test the waters. If you're new to options market, don't go on margin. Don't borrow a bunch of money. Don't put all your money in it. Put a small amount of money in it just to make sure that you get a feel for it. And by the way, Generally speaking, options do give you beginner's luck. The first time you play, you do win. But of course, be very careful because most options will make you go to zero and it's super painful to play. Imagine putting $10,000 on a single options play. You screw up, that 10 grand becomes five grand. It could even be four grand if you're playing credit spreads and it destroys you during an expiration date or if earnings are really bad and you're playing earnings report, that $10,000 could very well likely be zero dollars. It's very scary. It's not for the faint of heart. So that's pretty much about it. Invest safely. Be very careful in the market. And of course, definitely buy some shares as well. Don't just play options and don't be a crazy gambler. Thanks for watching.